Costco area. I'm Drew Chicken to ride Koopa. But uh, if you look up to the right, there's a ride I have ridden. The Sand Serpent. Our family mouth style ride, the Sand Serpent, is located in Antopia. Well, folks, I hope you wave to the friendly and staff member and the sidewalk and the nice person who just drove up in a golf cart. Don't forget to wave anytime we see people today. And as we enter the Serengeti, oh, back to the left, oh my goodness, back to the right, back to the right. We just passed a, an African cow in a back area. Raise your hand if any of you saw her. A few of you looked. I'm sorry, I didn't know that she, that she would be there this early. She just walked across the meadow back to our right, and she used to leave our belt are way across the hills. I don't know if we will get to see them. But keep your eyes open. Oh, ahead to the left, I see three large dark winged birds. One of them just stepped into the sunshine out of the shadows. The other one may have stepped into the sun in just a moment. Now to the left, those dark winged birds are African, I'm sorry, those are marabou stork. They are from Africa, they hail from Africa, but those are marabou stork. And down low to the left, you see the bird swimming? That big white bird swimming? Yeah. Folks, the Christmas season may be swimming, may be ending, but we still have one swan of swimming. Hang on. That's a butte swan. It's a little bit of another swan. There might be a rhinoceros near the tall tan rock wall, in case anybody looks back to the left. Is she in the sunshine? Oh, she is! Her back side, oh, well, we're, she's showing us her photogenic side. That's a black rhino when she just turned. Well, raise your hand if you just saw that rhino before she turned. Yes, folks, we were looking at the south end of the North Shore. Also known as the Undertaker bird, due to their scary appearance and the black feathers on the back of their wings, looks like a cloak of an Undertaker. Bear with Starker scavenger bird, and clean up carcasses that are left over by predators, Marabou Stork. Another one of our female ostrich also on your left. Now over on the left, you may notice a gray antelope with short horns, the wildebeest, also known as gray bearded noon. Wildebeest in the wild travel herds around a million. When they migrate, that migration can be seen from the International Space Station. A baby wildebeest right after birth is required to get up and run with the herd, or it might be left behind the wildebeest on the left. Also on the left, the grand zebra. Now the grand zebra is the smallest and most photographed of all zebra. It's also the only zebra whose stripes go all the way around their belly. When zebras travel, they move at the speed of their slowest member, so no one gets left behind. A baby zebra will memorize the strike pattern of its mother so they can find her when they herd the zebras. These are the grand zebras. Also laying on the left, a small tan antelope are the grand gazelle. They are related to Thompson gazelle, and they're bigger and faster than like 55 miles an hour. And if you look to the right, you see the brown antelope with curved horns, the sable antelope. The sable antelope are a matriarch society, ruled by the female of the species. Partly through his legs, the male sable antelope gets kicked out of the herd. Just like my brother-in-law a couple of years ago. The sable antelope. See a deer-like animal top of the hill on the right, the greater cougar, was threatened by a predator, was kept perfectly still, ate while grass for over two hours, to wait for the predator to go right out by. And a white rhino's coming up, the third largest land animal on the planet, the male weighs around 6,000 pounds. White rhino gets their name from an African word, translated to black, and they get wiped out. The rhino horn is made of carrots. to the right, that is the Skyride Transfer Station. It is on the maintenance schedule. We're going to have people working on it, checking it out. Ah! Seven times. 
at speed between 60 to 70 miles an hour. Coming up on the right is an animal habitat home to the very large brown antelope the bongo. The bongo antelopes are very rare. Until we come to a full and a complete stop. Remain seated, guys. Remain seated. We're rolling into the station. Remain seated, please. Almost there. Wait for it. Wait for it. Still moving. Before we head out, just a couple of rules. There's no open food, open drinks, or smoking on board. That is for the health and the safety of my animals. Please remain seated at all times, arms and legs inside the train. If you drop anything along the way, do not try to retrieve it. Let us know at the next station. We'll send someone out to retrieve your item for you. Small children need to be towards the middle of your seating row with an adult to the outside as a precaution for your child's safety. So sit back, relax, enjoy your ride on the Serengeti Express. Now if you look over on the hill to the left, you may notice some black and white birds with some crazy hairdo. Those are the African crown crane. Million years. The African crown crane on the left. You guys, as we're sitting in the station you're waiting to head out, there's something I like to do at each station, and that's to recognize some very special guests. And I know we have some on. What looks like a wooden coaster at the front of the park is not open yet. But guess what? Those curtains website, they're all there. Feed of a herd of turtles. Let your right hand side, put a hand in the air. Let's give a nice friendly wave to all the hardworking station and platform. He is a loner from Adventure Island, and we're very happy to have him on board. He's in the right street. You guys, if you go to the right, you see a big glass enclosure that is home to the African penguins. African penguins are walk all the penguins. They live on the coast of Africa. They're very friendly. You don't have to go by there and look down. Don't be surprised to see an African penguin following this, meerkats, and other small animals. They love them. This is a steel inverted roller coaster. The people dangle beneath you throughout the entire ride. This monster flips you upside down seven times at speeds between 60 to 70 miles an hour. Machu has been consistently ranked as one of the top roller coasters in the United States. That's Machu. They will cross the rail at any time. You're safe. Please remain seated at all times. With your arms and legs inside the train. <laughs> On the top of the hill to your left, the Eland antelope, the largest are the animal species. They each weigh about one ton. Although they're very large, eland antelope can leap up to 10 feet from a near standing start. The eland antelope. The grubby zebra at the top of the hill on the left, and the grubby zebra are the largest and most endangered of all zebra. They have thin strip markings and bare underbellies, and just like all zebra, Grubby zebra are brown and white. The truth is that all zebras are brown and white, they are not black and white. But if you want to see an animal with black and white stripes that's very annoying, just go to a watch a Buccaneer game, they're called referees. Reticulated giraffe on the left, these giraffes can grow to 18 feet in height. They do almost everything standing up, including giving birth. Lightning won the Stanley Cup. 
Guess what? His name's Stanley. We named him after the Stanley Cup. Go Bolts. Well, coming up on the left, these white antelope with the spiraling horns, Adax antelope. They're one of the most endangered antelope in the world. In 2016, they went out and did a count of Adax antelope in the wild. They found three. About a year later, the United Arab Emirates found another 15 Adax antelope in the wild. Due to zoos, conservation efforts, and organizations around the world, the current count of Adax antelope is about 30. These are the highly endangered Adax antelope. Uh, all right, guys, we didn't have to stop for an ostrich. Now, guys, I do have to have everybody seated. We're going to see that bird in a little bit. Please sit down, please sit down, please sit down, please sit down. I'm going to do that if you stand up. I am going to annoy you like you have never been annoyed before. Sit down, please, sit down, please, sit down, please, sit down, please. Thank you. Like I said, I'm going to annoy you. I need to have everybody remain seated for your safety. You want to take off? We are done. Might be a little bit of a jerky motion. I don't want anyone falling in her. The bird is moving off, and you will see her in just a little bit. She's just off to the right, and saw her move. And when she's far enough away from the track, she engineers to move forward. And you will get to see chicken eggs. And it takes two hours to boil one ostrich egg. We're about to pass the ostrich. Still kind of close to the tracks. Engineers being very careful. We're going to go by her and you'll be able to see the red neck ostrich. You're going to notice that this ostrich does not have a red neck. That's because it's a female. 